I am absolutely buzzing to be finally bringing you this video. Today we are talking about the brand new 2023 TaylorMade P790 irons. And TaylorMade had one huge problem surrounding the new P790 launch. I'm gonna get into it in this video. We're gonna talk numbers, we're gonna jump in the simulator, and we're gonna put them in a little bit of a real life environment test. Because if I can play shots like this with these new P790 irons, then generally we're gonna be on to a bit of a win. I'm gonna talk you through exactly why these are so much more versatile than the previous model, why they are potentially more forgiving and potentially even better than the best irons ever released. And of course, we are gonna talk the big problem about these clubs. So just what is the huge problem that TaylorMade have been facing regarding the brand new 2023 slash 2024 P790 irons? You see, if we think P790 irons in the past, we think the almost perfect iron. The iron which, let's face it, almost redefined forgiving irons as a whole when we saw the brand new hollow bodied yet stunning looking iron that was fit for everybody to play. That was the problem. They were almost perfect. It was going to be so difficult to make these P790s even better. Have they finally done it? You see that shot that you saw on the opening hole was the pitching wedge and I was able to flight it down. I was able to pick the trajectory that I wanted and that is all down to the new flighted CG. That means that centre of gravity is strategically positioned differently in the higher and longer irons so that you can play different shots that you want to play. So for example, I have a four iron off this tee and I might just want to play a lovely high draw down the middle of this par four fairway like that. That, to be honest, felt absolutely gorgeous. And that's one of the things that TaylorMade have absolutely nailed in these new clubs. They feel so much better than previous generations, especially better than the original P790. I don't think a lot of people from the previous generation P790 will move into this generation P790, but I think a whole host of people who were clinging on from the first generation P790 may well find their way into this P790. So why does it feel so much better? Well, these irons do feature an all new internal sound stabilization bar and that combined with the ultra light speed foam air is designed to deliver better feel and sound. What if I wanted to play this down? I wanted to play a nice low running four iron. I can also do that as well. I can take a nice divot. Obviously a lot of that ball flight is down to my attack angles, is down to how I hit the ball, but previous generation P790s, you didn't really have that workability. You didn't really have the ability to do that. And then if I just want to go and play a nice mid-flighted one, I feel like these irons really do start to tick all the boxes that you want them to do. That's a high draw, a low fade, and a high fade, all with the same club, all down the middle of this fairway. Have TaylorMade finally made the perfect irons? I must admit, I can't wait to see what potentially the new 770s might look like if and when they turn up. TaylorMade were quick to say this is a light makeover on the outside, but a huge makeover on the inside. And I happen to think that lightweight makeover on the outside looks absolutely gorgeous. So distance on these clubs is quite remarkable. We will get inside to talk about that later on in this video, but the front to back dispersion on those three tee shots with the four irons is quite remarkable. One of them is Mr. Fairway. I'll take one out of three. Two out of three ain't bad. The new 2023 P790 also features individual mass optimization. That is a feature that is an advanced thick thin back wall construction, strategically redistributing mass to enhance performance. Each iron is uniquely designed using proprietary AI mass optimization. And that means that each gram in these clubs is strategically placed for the performance that you want from this club. So say I wanted to play that low kind of knockdown shot on the opening hole, with the pitching wedge I could do so. Here we've got 140 yards, I know I need a nice high towering pitching wedge. I should be able to get a ball flight that does the job. I pulled that one a little bit. Is it gonna be flag high? Felt good. 
that's bunker left but flag high can't blame the club for that there is a bit of offset on these these are still very much designed to be mid to higher handicap irons the 770 in the range is still the club you would want if you are pushing down to the low handicap range but what i love about these is it almost starts to move away from oh i need a split set because we know we have the through slot speed pocket in the longer irons so we get more forgiveness and ease of launch but as you do get down into this pitching wedge it just looks a little bit more player friendly it looks a little bit smaller almost come on let's attack that flag there we go that's the shot that we want that is a gorgeous shot and that is the perfect distance into this quite tight green actually let's go one more full look we hit the fairway twice can we hit the green twice see that's the shot that really impressed me the most that was a horrible healy strike and that's still gone the distance that i want it to go when the p790 was first released no one could believe the forgiveness now three generations on no one can uh, believe the forgiveness yeah one of the huge factors that TaylorMade have absolutely nailed with these clubs as well is i'm a big believer if it ain't broke don't fix it Taylor may know that these weren't broke when it came to the style of them, to the look of them, to the simplicity of them. So guess what? They haven't tried to fix it. They've just left it well alone. Gorgeous. And you see another really difficult factor that I think TaylorMade came to terms with for the P790, especially the first generation, was that they expected it to be a high mid handicap golf club. Like I mentioned earlier, that still is a lot of their demographic, a lot of the customers for these clubs. But realistically, a lot of low handicap golfers wanted these clubs in the bag as well, because of not only how they performed for forgiveness, but how good they look in the bag. We all know if you're a low handicap golfer, you don't want something that looks massive and hideous in the bag. But if you feel like you can get away with a little bit more forgiveness with an iron that looks this good. Guys, I've been using these irons for a couple of days now because I wanted to give you a really high-end review and a bit of a longer-term review. And I have to say, I am so impressed with not only how they feel, but how they perform. They almost feel like a player's iron when you strike them as you want to. I say almost, almost is the operative word there. They don't quite feel as good as a player's iron, but they feel fantastic. And there's actually more technology in here. So the new P790 also features an intelligent sweet spot technology that combines the responsive face with the new internal shaping. And that new sweet spot is supposed to intelligently capture more shots while ensuring consistent ball speeds and accuracy. We also have optimal launch and forgiveness and up to 38 grams of tungsten depending on the club right par three 145 yards i'm going to try and play a nice little a time we're into the wind a tiny bit this is where before i would see jumps in front to back dispersion can we see a nice consistent front to back dispersion then we're going to jump on the simulator we're going to see just how good these irons do perform the ball speed spin rate and of course distance let's see how close we can get to that flag with some nice a irons. See straight away that didn't feel like a great strike but it's all over the flag that could be really close that was a bit of a thin strike if you actually look at the strike pattern here the balls on the tee there i've just caught it a bit thin the divot's a little bit late and that for me is a shot that you really can get away with with this new 2023 model let's try and strike it a little bit better this time better better i've turned it over a bit that's left but it's a much better strike I'm hoping that one's not a jump in distance because that's where the old one may have jumped on you a touch. Let's go one more, then we'll jump in the studio. Oh, there we go. Be the club. Be good. Right, that could be really good. We have held a shot on here before when testing the Cobra Forge Tech irons. Might have just done another one. Right, guys, don't go anywhere because I honestly think... That might be it. I mean, the first one was close. The second one was pulley. That third one, again, wasn't the best strike, but I think it goes the distance. Guys, let's jump in the studio. Let's see exactly just how these irons do perform for numbers. I'm also testing today probably the biggest rival of these irons, the new Callaway Apex Pro iron. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you want to see that and you want to see a comparison. Now let's get in the studio. 
So guys, I took these brand new tailor-made P790s into the studio. I managed to test the eight iron, the six iron, and the four iron, so all the even irons. I must admit, I was really impressed with not only the feel, but also the kind of sound it gave off, and the spin rate wasn't too bad, actually. Sometimes when you test these hollow body, really powerful irons, the spin rate massively drops off, and that kind of masks what distance you get. This is the four iron here, and I got some really, really good numbers with this. I really enjoyed the strike, really enjoyed how easy it was to launch, and you can see there that's carried 208 yards. So we had an average of 207 yards with the four iron, 186 with the six, and 162 with the eight iron. They're probably a step above what I would anticipate for my irons to be, but remember, these are a little bit stronger lofted. They have got more technology in them, and as you can see, the spin rates are all there or thereabouts, a tiny bit on the low side, but you're always going to anticipate that with a hollow-bodied iron. So pretty good numbers there, as you would imagine. Yes, there's still a tiny bit on the low spin side, but much better than previous generations. You can really tell TaylorMade have tried to work under the hood with those. Guys, I'm really excited to see where this ball's finished. I'm going to turn it around so you can see. Oh, it's long. Oh, the, I mean, for consistency, I'm quite happy with those two. I think the other ball has missed the green left. Let's see just where that's finished distance wise ah oh, i honestly thought that might have been the one we've not had a hole in one this year or a hole out on a par three should i say third ball's finished there that's obviously landed around the kind of same one and just fired off because it's a bit firmer we look at where these two balls have pitched very very similar results and we have two pitch marks very very close together consistent very nice guys thanks for watching make sure you smash that subscribe button if you enjoy these videos let me know what you think to the brand new tailor-made p790 irons and apart from that i'll see all of you at the same time tomorrow goodbye